I'm in Little Eastern Church, just north of Great Dunmo in Essex. Occasionally you hear a car drive by, you can hear the ticking of the clock behind me. All around us we see monuments and architecture of many, many different ages. It's quite a remarkable church. It's small and yet there's so much here. Let me show you some of the things. So here we are looking down the nave of this beautiful old church. As we look up we can see the crown posts there. In fact there are four of them and all four beams are beautifully moulded. I'm not sure whether they're replacements, I can't tell from the moment. And then we have these wonderful wall paintings. Let me share with you this wonderful wall painting, particularly at Easter. I'm on Easter Saturday when I'm filming this. There's Christ. The detail is gone, the shapes are there though. Christ taking the cross, hanging from the cross there in the middle, and in the right hand frame he's being taken down from the cross. What a beautiful image. I can't quite place the age of these paintings. This is an astonishing wall painting, it, it's almost Romanesque in the way it's been finished. One wonders if the if the walls are older and windows were put in in the 14th century or whatever. I don't know, I can't quite, I can't quite work that one out. I'm quite fascinated by this. The church itself it's certainly medieval, but I wouldn't said, suggest it's early, um, but I'm going to have to look into this. Look at this. This is a miniature knight. He's barely more than two feet long, yet exquisitely carved. He's resting on a, what looked like almost wool sacks. Whether they are, I don't know. Chain mail, which dates him to 12th century or possibly earlier. We go down here and his feet are resting on what looks like a dog. Its head is missing. As we swing round, I'll try and capture that. There we are. It looks like it's possibly a greyhound, but as I say, its head has been missing. It's been defaced. It's quite an astonishing carving. Really quite beautiful. Let's try and go around the side if I can capture some detail there. I'm not sure whether that's his shield. I can't see from where I am. And then we've got his sword there. And his face. What an amazing knight. Not what I'd expect to find in a church like this at all. And I want to show you in a second the overall monument which contains this. This is the monument which contains that miniature knight on top of the casket. It must be about 12 feet high. It bears several coats of arms, which I'm going to have to look into later. Decorated OG top there. Quite astonishing. Here's one of two brasses on a tomb. Can't really show you the detail greatly. He's in a cloak. He looks like a, possibly a knight of the garter. Look at his polaines and the armor of his legs there. I'm going to try and focus in on his garter shield, which I, I think that's what it is there certainly has the cross of St. George. Other components are missing, but the main brass is here.
here's a monument to Henry Maynard. The windows we see were put in by other members of the Maynard family. I think this is a family chapel. Many of the people celebrated here are the Maynards, so this looks like their own private chapel. This side chapel is dedicated to the Americans and also the RAF who served near here in the Second World War. Debden Airfield indeed is very close to here. You see the Dove of Peace at the top, the American Eagle, the Union flag on the left, Stars and Stripes on the right, Hands of Friendship below. And here again we have Christ in his majesty. They shall mount up with wings as eagles, it says at the bottom. We can see the pilots, fighter pilots, bomber pilots. We can see the aircraft. They look like B-26 bombers. It's quite moving really to think that many of these young men never came back from here. The last they saw of England or indeed of the world apart from when their planes descended, was this village, this beautiful village, so far, far away from their home. So here we have two of the windows on the outside of the church, but if we go over here and look at this feature right now, the Roman brick in there and then it seems to go along in a line towards the edge of the church. Quite what this was I don't know but it implies the building or parts of the building are a lot older than at first may appear. <laughs> 